Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode oh, of Mama. Mixed Mahomes the Merman. How you doing? Today is today is Sunday. Come look, Riley Boy here. You're with Mixed Mahomes t-shirt on. Well done, you. What, what you need is a Chicanic t-shirt. Why? That's what you need, mate. You'll have to ask Bree. Say, Bree, can I have a t-shirt? Bree, we need a t-shirt. Oh, there you go. You've asked her. Um, is she a YouTube channel? She has got a YouTube channel, and she's got a fantastic who channel. Who knows? Oh, you know I'm a YouTube channel. Who's who? Uh, a man with long hair. A man with long hair. A uh, YouTube channel. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Oh, I know, um, her R. It begins with an R? Yeah. Uh, no. Rusty Rooster. Yeah, no. Right. No, no. A YouTube channel. Mm. Well, when you think about it, let me know. Okay. Um, so in today's video um, is a follow-up from that last job lot I've just got in, uh, about 13 mows. And today, I'm not all I want to do. No score today, no, it's Sunday. Night. I've been swimming. You, not today, you haven't. You've been shopping. I've been swimming. All right, can I do the video? Yeah. Fantastic. Um, 13 mowers um, we got in just the other day, me and Riley Boy. And um, today, I just want to try and start a few up. Uh, there may be a few that I can't because of pull cord issues and what have you, but just want to try and diagnose um, if there's any terminal ones in there and that I need to order parts and bits and pieces. So it's just a bit of a quick look. Don't forget, these um, machines didn't cost me a lot of money at all. And if I sell just one of them, it could pay for the entire job lot. Simple as that. So I'm going to grab some, um, some spark plugs and some carburetor spray and bits and pieces. And we just go through the entire lot. Just try and get them just to fire, see, see what we're thinking and go from there. Have we bought 13 lemons or are we sat on a little tiny pot of gold? That'd be brilliant. So if this is your first time you're watching Mixed Mowers, don't forget to hit the old subscribe button, whack the old bell. Yay! Give us a thumbs up and don't forget, more importantly, leave a comment down below. Um, let us know what you think, whether this job lot of mowers is going to be any good or not, or what you think the current value of the entire job lot of mowers would be if they were sold um, at the correct money for secondhand mowers. Let us know. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty, and let's have a look at these 13 job lot of mowers and see if any will actually fire up. Right, I don't know if I can even get them all in shot. I think I just about can. Let's try about there, shall we? Okay, good. Right, we can get them all in shot. So let me grab um, let me grab a spark plug wrench. That'd be first thing to do. There's one there. I want to grab um, a little tiny syringe, just so I can put some fuel down the head. And I grab my petrol container and just put a bit of petrol in a cat in a, in, a, in a fuel cap or something, just so I can um, put some fuel down the heads of the machines. That, that's the way I'm going to be doing it. So hopefully we can uh, we can do this. Good, right? I'm set up. So this is the um, this is the fuel the uh, ethanol free fuel that I'm using because uh, that's the video I did re just recently. The first machine is a hater haterette. This has got a quad blade system on here. Um, four little tiny blades that rotate. It's known in America as a, like a bush hog, something similar to that. Riley Boy's mucking about the throttle cable, I can see. So this, this has got a NGK B2 LM in here. So let's have the spark plug out. The spark plug wasn't in very, very tight to be fair. Uh, it's a bit of an oily plug. And we've got a bit of oil in the, in, the, in the system as well. So let me just grab a little bit of fuel. As I say, this is that, that um, ethanol free fuel I, I made up. Nice and careful, rider boy. Now all I want it to do, literally, is just fire up. That's all we want it to do. If they fire, that proves we've got a spark, we've got a bit of compression going on, and all that sort of good stuff. I don't want to be filling these machines with petrol if they're not even going to start up. Let's put fire that on. Up, fire up, fire up. Fire up. Fire up. Right away, you can stand here, just like Terrell, yeah. yeah. Right, let's give us a bit of fun. I've got a bit of a bad back. I've pulled my back lifting these mugs in that the trailer, so you need to be a bit careful. So that actually uh, fired. Let's should we put a bit of juice in. It's it a bit first, yeah. Let's put a bit of juice in this one. 
just enough just to wet the whistle. That's all we're doing. What's that? This has got an old style Briggs and Stratton on here. I've got, I've got a bit of a fuel leak come on. I can see that. So that might be why it's thrown out because it's got a fuel leak. Fire, fire. Let's have a look. So nothing. So we've probably got a carburetor, a carburetor fault. Yep. Oh, no, there you go. So fantastic. Hey to hey to rep. Um, and grab a rag. It's got a bit of an oil leak on it, a bit of a fuel leak on it. So hey to hey to rep runs. Got a bit of a fuel leak going on. Um, that machine alone, if um, I do that machine up and it runs as, it's, as it should do, that machine pays for that entire lot, okay? Everything. So well happy with that. This one here, can I start this one, Riley? I might be able to. Let's have a little look. This is a, this is a web, a bit of hardware there. Here's a web. Uh, it's got a champion plug in there. Let me grab another, a different style of socket. So it's got the thinner one on there. Which I think is that one off the top of my head. I think, I might be wrong. This has got a slightly smaller spark plug in it. In fact, what I could do being a bit sneakier, we could literally just um, put a bit of fuel in. Okay, there's no fuel in here. Just enough just to get the bowl, the float bowl, just to just to float up. Is it, thirsty, Daddy? it is thirsty, mate. They're all thirsty. Let's put the old spark plug HTL boot back on. We give it some pumps. Okay. Ten pumps. It's going to be a bit hard to pull this one because uh, everything is all sort of hanging off of it. So let me... What have we got here? We've got a cable. A cable all disconnected there. Let's put that there. And we'll try and fire this one up if we can. I might take that off of there. A bit better pull on it. Right, let's see what happens. Number two, Number two runs and um, and dies, so they've got good compression, good spot there. What's this one name? here, Riley, this is a little Murray. What's your name? Is it Murray? It's got a bit of petrol in there. Murray. Is it going to prime? So it's not priming. Let's um, put a bit of fuel on that one. Might not be enough fuel in there, or the carburetor's just about had it. Ready, well done, mate, no worries. I'll leave it be, don't touch it. Oh. Right, priming now. It's a little Murray MP450 uh, flathead Briggs. Actually runs, so that one a bit of a service. The next one is a Mountfield SP 180. No fuel in here again. It's good to see the uh, mowers firing up on the ethanol free gas that I made. Uh, Try this one, find myself out by mums. So nothing there on that one. What sort of plug have we got in there? We got a, a little champion in there, I think. 
cool. Yeah, I need a slightly smaller socket for that one. That's one of the newer style Briggses, which are probably that one there. So it's one, two, three machines, one fires, two run. So this has got a champion in here. It looks like a really good plug, actually. A champion RC12YC. So we're gonna get a little bit of fuel. Put it down the head. And we're gonna put that plug straight back in. Before that fuel evaporates off. boot back on. Let's give that one a little pull. See if it now start with a bit of fuel down the head. Another one that fires up. Super happy with that. So that's um, one, two, two that fire, two that run. Next one's a little mount field. Jupiter. Quite an old machine, this one. There's no fuel in there. And this is why I like buying off of this fella. Half the stuff you get are generally um, good bits of equipment. So just enough fuel just to wet the whistle. Priming. Tortoise and hair, dead man's hand is working. Okay, it runs, but the drive doesn't work. So that could just be a belt come off, okay? Uh, and run and revs its head off. So that needs carburetor work. Next one, Mountfield 414, one of my favorite machines to work on. I can't prime it because um, the prime bulb has had it, so I'm going to get some carburetor spray because these tend to fire better um, with carburetor spray. So let me just grab a straw and some carby spray. And all we're going to do is remove the air box. Tip it up onto its side. Bit of carburetor spray in there. And the pull cord isn't much good on here. Hopefully it'll be enough just to pull it. We shall see. runs and wants to stay running too. Wants a bit of a carburetor clean possibly and a good service. This is the same engine that I uh, I helped Mr. Butler put together the other week or do the airfield on the other week. So that's good. Mrs. P's over here in the garden. She's now counting the money up already. Uh, this one here, yeah I can do the same. Bit of spray. Down the side of the head. This is going to be a bit of a dicky one to start because the pull cord is uh, all, all sort of tangled. But we're not a hard machine to pull these ones, so let's see what happens. Starts and dies, but that, that only had carburetor spray in there. So that's another one. That's okay, that's good. We're doing all right. We're doing all right, people. This one I can't start because there's no pull cord on it. 
Um, that's actually broken, but so I'm guessing that came into a scrappy because the pull cord actually broke. So, um, runs, fired, fired, uh, runs, fired, fired, runs, not sure. So we're doing quite well. Next one we've got here is a Briggs and Strat 450 Flower Beast, which is your, your uh, uh, Lidl's, I think, or Aldi. Oh, yeah, that. It's got a bit of fuel in there. Let's see what it do. Oh yeah. Starts and stops, not a lot of fuel in there though, but that might be the reason why. So happy with that so far, we're getting there. Right, on to the next one. Um, this one I, I was well excited to find right at the very end of the job. No fuel. Hater 41 auto drive electric start with grass bag and battery. Let's put a bit of fuel in. Just enough just to wet the whistle in case it's got a fuel leak. Just enough. Yeah, right, no fuel leak so far. Um, will it start on a key or not? Well, it was a bit of life there. Not enough to start it though. So the battery wants charging. No biggie, no fuel leaks. No way. Oh my Lord. Carburetor. So starts, runs, and drives. Carburetor clean, new spark plug service. We're doing well, we're doing really well. Next up is the uh, Hyundai. I'm not a fan, but it'll do someone. There's fuel in there. Now these aren't preempted by me. These are literally just, I lined them up, left them overnight and we'll see how we go. So I haven't done nothing to these machines. Some had fuel in, some don't. So Hyundai, cheap and nasty. Boom! <laughs> and dies. Okay. Radio. So, so far, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten machines, eleven machines, all do something. Nothing as of yet has said no, I ain't doing it, no fuel. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? That Bentley's just round the corner. I'll be buying Snobby's Bentley off him any day. All right. Let's give it some pumps. That says, oh hang on, fuel leak, massive fuel leak. Fuel leak coming off the back of the fuel pipe, I can see when you prime it. But we may still get something going on, so I've got a bit of a fuel leak going on. Pull cord. Oh, that's a bit tough. Why is that so hard to pull over? It's right on the ground, I think. I think that's got something to do with it. Let's, uh, let's bring that height control up a touch. I think it's right on the ground. Let's try again. No. That's got a bit of compression on there, that has. So that's doing absolutely nothing, but I'm not giving away, I'm not, not, not giving up on it. Let's grab a, a socket. It feels really, really hard to pull. Really hard. Now I do have spare engines for these. Oh, if you can get the HTD plug off, is always a a bonus. Cool. Cool, my word. What have we got in here? 
and it's all going to come out. No oil. And the one and only torch plug. Only good for one thing, people. Smashing windows. Let's grab a um, overhead valve plug. We'll put that in. <clears throat> I should have something to hand here. Can my mate uh, Roger McDonald? He give me a couple. What we got here? Got an old plug. That'll do. Got an old NGK. I know that this one actually is a, is a working plug because I took it out of the Honda Easy just the other day. So I know it does work. Let's get some carburetor spray. Let's get a couple of pulls first without the plug in. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Let's put some in here. Oh. Bit of carby spray. Let's put that plug down into there. And we do that up. Goes. Put the uh, cap back on. Right, let's try that then. Come on, baby. Nothing at all. So we've got one that won't fire, and it doesn't sound right either, to be fair. Um, so we've got one to work on, but out of out of um. 11 mowers, we've got one at one in fire. Okay, that's the way it goes. But nothing to say, it won't come back from a dead later on. Now the last one is your John Deere. No fuel. Bit of fuel in there. Let's see what it do. Let's move that height control up a touch. Yeah, that works. Uh, so John Deere, what we got? Bit of choke. That's your walking pace. No dead man, that should that'd be your rotor clutch. Like that, yeah, rotor clutch. And your drive, okay. Let's see what we get then. Wow. Drive. Drive works. Oh, bit sticky on my drive. Rotor clutch. She's trying. I think there's a rotor clutch issue. Very smoky as well. Smoking the whole garden out. But could be overfilled of oil. Let's try and get the clutch to work. There it goes. So it does work, but it's not locking off. There you go, it is. And drive, yeah. So rotor clutch works, but it's very, very sticky. Cuts off. Yeah, baby. But it's very, very smoky. Really smoky. Let's just check the oil level on that. Give it a second just to drain down. And we'll check the oil level on it. It could just be it's been overfilled, tipped up, and all sorts of stuff. So let me grab a bit of a bit of blue roll. Wow. 12 machines will fire. I dare say if I persevered with this little mount field, I could get it to go. It could be a coil. Let's check the oil on this. This is the one I was the most concerned about out of all of them. 
because this one here pays for the job lot twice over if it sells. Uh, okay. Sorry. And it's bang on the uh, the full mark, so the all is actually correct. Hang on, for oil level, do not turn cap on threads, okay? So it's halfway full, but the oil is very, very black. I dare say the airfield won't make much cop. No, airfield won't much cop either. But if we can get it to run and not smoke, um, could be on a winner. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this uh, John Deere. Did someone throw it out because um, it started smoking horrendously? Is it, a, is it a massive problem or is it literally just wants a darn good service? I dare say if I let it run, it might clear. We shall see. Um, but it is getting progressively worse. But it may have been tipped up at the tip, you see. Tipped up on, on, onto its end and what have you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just let this one run, see what happens. It's got plenty of oil in there, plenty of petrol in there now. See if it gets any worse or any better. And hopefully uh, we'll find out in two ticks. Yeah. Okay, there's the John Deere after about five minutes of running. It is still a bit smoky, but it has reduced loads. So it may always want a darn good service, I'm hoping. And an oil change. The fuel cap, the fuel cap is broken. But no smoke when it's, when it's under load. So the smoke has now dissipated quite a bit. It's a bit there. There's a little bit there, but could be a valve adjustment. Let us know in the comments section what you think. Any back pressure? No back pressure coming out of the um, out of the oil. No smoke coming out of there. That's good. Let me know what you think. It might have been tipped up. Who knows? But there you go. All in all, I have one machine which actually failed to start, um, and I don't think I don't think there's a lot wrong with it. I'll probably get we'll get it to run. I've got some spare coils and what have it. It could just be a, a dicky plug or a. Um, a coil, something like that. So super happy all in all. Um, got, um, uh, what I get, 30 machines. I've got 12 machines to actually fire or run out of the whole lot. And for what I paid, if I could just sell um, the hater hater at with the fuel leak, get that done, uh, that will pay for, for the job lot. Even this one, if, it, if I can get it to stop smoking continuously, or just sell one or two of the others and uh, that pays for the entire job lot. So overall, super, super happy. Okay, so there you have it. Um, 12 out of the 13 lawnmowers. Either start, run, fire, or do something. Nana back. Nana's back shopping, yeah? I got you a bubble gun. You got a new bubble gun, have you? For sure, guys. Oh, you sure, guys, later on. Guys, I got a bubble gun. Bubble gun. From a Nana's yeah. at the shop. From Nana's at the shop, yeah, cool. It's good, isn't it? Five bubbles, it's quite good. <laughs> exactly that. Um, so, if anyone that doesn't want to do anything, is a Mountfield 414, it's not doing anything at all. Um, could be a, a, a bad plug I put in there. Uh, but we'll bring that back a bit later on, you, and you can see see how I get on. So again, you're going back to school tomorrow morning. Can't wait. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that. Um, all in all, uh, super super happy. We've got the um, a bit sweaty, am I? Um, we've got 13 mowers, 12 of which do, um, do something. So we're quids in. Um, they may not even sell till next year. Um, but uh, at least I do have now some stock in uh, that I can work on and some content for you girls and guys as well. So that's cool. If it's your first time watching Mixed Mode, don't forget to hit the old subscribe button and whack the old bell. Dang! That way you'll be told that uh, when I've done a video or two of my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. Don't forget to give us a comment down below on, on, on what you think is up with that John Deere, or also what do you think the total monetary value is of that entire job lot, if the entire lot sold as the prices that you would want for them on the open market. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Mode and Mower Man very, very soon, but until then, people, don't forget, much more importantly, 
Take her easy.